in our last lesson, we talked about uh, going on holiday. We discussed some of the things that we can take when we go on holidays, like sandals, soap, sun cream, swimming costumes, swimming trunks, you know, some of the things that you take on a summer holiday. And we also talked about things which are singular, things which are plural, and things which are uncountable. Of course, when we say uh, singular, I mean, I mean countable. We should say countable. So we talked about countable objects. We talked about uncountable nouns or uncountable objects. And uh, we also talked about uh, nouns which are always plural or usually plural. So for example, if you have a noun like uh, sunglasses, or for example, walking boots or swimming trunks, shorts, all of these nouns are always in plural because you can't say, you cannot say sunglass or short or boot. Boot maybe because you can, you know, you have a right boot and a left boot. So they're usually plural, but there are a few exceptions where you might, you might be talking about your right, your right boot or your left boot, then, then it's okay to say boot but usually it's plural. So we talked about this. And after that, we started talking about uh, quantifiers. We discussed the difference between lots of, many, much. And if you want to talk about small quantity, we also have a few, not many, a bit. So we talked about them and we agreed that some is used in positive sentences and any is used in questions and also in negative sentences. So we talked about that. And we also talked about uh, which ones go for countable nouns and which ones go for uncountable nouns. And we also found out that, for example, some of them, like lots of and a lot of, you can actually use it for both. You can use it for countable objects, countable nouns, and uncountable nouns. The same thing with some. So some you can use it for countable nouns, uncountable nouns. So we covered this. We also talked about quantity phrases. And of course, the advantage of using a quantity phrase is now you can talk about the noun as if it's countable. So for example, if you talk about toothpaste, you cannot say a toothpaste because it's uncountable. So you cannot use a uh, or an. You cannot say one toothpaste, two toothpastes. It's impossible, you can't do it like that. But if you say a tube of toothpaste, now it feels like it's countable. So you can say, I've got two tubes of toothpaste. How many tubes of toothpaste have you got? I've only got one, how about you? And so on. So then it becomes like a countable noun. You can just add the number of tubes or reduce them. And the same thing for bottle of perfume, packet of tea, a bar of chocolate, or a bar of soap. All of these nouns, which are normally uncountable, they become, they don't become countable, but they become easier to talk about as if they are countable nouns. This is the idea. And the last thing we covered was possessive pronouns. In our last lesson, we talked about uh, possessive pronouns. We talked about how to use mine, how to use yours in the sentence. So are those your sunglasses? No, those are mine. Is that her, is that her towel? Yes, that one's hers. Is that their camera? No, it's ours. Excuse me, are these your books? Or are these books yours? This one's mine, but that's, that one's his. So these are called possessive pronouns and they're useful in everyday language. So in today's lesson, we're gonna talk about two unusual hotels, okay? So we have two unusual hotels. We want to read about them and maybe talk a little bit about traveling and talk about hotels. So this is what we want to cover Okay, sorry, just checking the message. All right, so uh, let's get back here. 
I've got a few questions for you in, in here in number one. So let's talk a little bit about hotels. Ah, sorry, we also, we also talked about this. We talked about staying in hotels. And I think uh, the last one who talked about hotels was Manal, remember? You told us about your, your, your hotel in Tunisia and how much you enjoyed it. So <laughs> we talked about this. So, um, so let's, let's talk about number two here, exercise number two. Um, we, if you remember in our last lesson, I showed you what a botanic garden is. So a botanic garden is very different from a park. Maybe from a picture, you know, when you're looking at the picture, you might think, oh, it's the same thing. You know, you've got trees, you've got grass, you've got people, but they're quite different. Who can tell me what is the difference between a botanic garden and a park, a normal city park? What is the difference? Who can, who can tell me? What do you think the difference is, uh, Rashid, between a botanic garden and between a park, in your opinion? A park, uh, you can uh, play football or anything you want to play. True. And uh, you can, uh, I think, uh, you can eat there. That's also true. Mm -hmm. But in a botanic garden, you cannot uh, uh, play or just watch. That's true, actually, yes. But OK, another question. Which, which place has more plants or more kinds of plants? Is it the park or the botanic, botanic garden? Uh, botanic uh, garden. That's correct, yeah. That's the idea. So botanic garden has more, more dif different kinds of plants from usually from all over the world. So there's a nice way to think of botanic gardens. Think of them as uh, zoos, but for plants. <laughs> Do you get the idea? So instead of a zoo for animals where you see different animals from around the world, a botanic garden is like a zoo for plants. So. So you see different kinds of plants from all over the world. Some of the plants are from hot areas. Some of the plants are from cold areas. Some of the plants are from dry areas. Some of them are from rainforests. You know, this is the idea. We talked about rafting. We talked about snowboarding. A prison cell. Who can, who can tell me what is a prison cell? What do we mean when we say prison cell? Any guesses? Hello, are you there? Can you hear us? Yes, sir, I can hear you. Yeah. Well, can you explain to us what you think a prison cell is? A prison cell? Um, without using Arabic, of course. What is, what is a prison cell? I've never heard of that before, so... Mm. But you, you've heard you've heard about prisons, of course, right? Maybe, maybe I'd know the meaning if I, I found it in a sentence. Yes. Ah, okay. So uh, you can say you can say yeah. inmates, or uh, an inmate, of course, is a person who's uh, who lives in a prison. So inmates stay in their prison cells. Uh, so prison cells during the night but work uh, but work in, in the in the in the what do, we, do they call it in the field in the morning maybe so what is a prison cell from this sentence um i think it's the room where the inmates are always staying that's it Yes, yes, that's actually the, what the prison cell is. It's the prison room, really, but they don't call it a room. They mm -hmm. call it a cell, prison cell. So it's mm -hmm. the place where the criminals or the inmates or the people who live in the jail, who stay there, who are, of course, punished uh, by staying in prison. That's where, they, uh, that's where they stay. So this is a prison cell. Um, we also, in our last lesson, we talked about sauna, castle, snowboarding, hot spring. So I think all of these words are uh, clear now. But I have another question. Who can tell me what is the difference between a hostel 
and a hotel? Or are they the same thing? Mm. Samia, what do you think? The difference between a hostel and a hotel? Or is it the same thing in your opinion? Selma, what do you think? Do you think hostels and hotels are the same thing or do you think they're different? And what's the difference in your opinion? Mm, okay, Selma is not here. Okay, Ala, what about you? What do you think? Have you heard of the word hostel? Hostel, have you heard of it before? No. No, hostel. Mm. Hostel, maybe just for sleeping. Close, you're very close. Yes, it's not a place. Not offer uh, food, not offer breakfast. Correct. Mm. But who stays in hostels usually? Or who, who goes to hostels? Uh, businessmen, old travelers, young travelers. Uh, young, really? young travelers. Correct. Yes, that's the idea. So young travelers usually go to hostels. And do you have your separate room or do you stay with other people or how does it work? Uh, more, more. Uh, not for. Uh, more than one person uh, mm. in one room. Okay, so does this mean that you you only get a bed or instead of a room? You just get a bed. Is that the idea? I don't understand. My, the question is, if you don't get a room in a hostel, what do you get? What do they give you when you come into a hostel and you pay to stay for the night? What what do they give you? What do you take, or what do you get? Uh, a bit. That's it. That's correct. Yes, you get a bed, and usually the bed is either for, uh, sorry, I mean the room you get in a hostel. Sometimes there are four people, four beds, you know, two beds, two bunker beds. Sometimes you have six beds, sometimes you have eight, depends on the room. But usually you don't have, you don't have separate rooms. This is the, this is the idea of a hostel, okay? So it's like a hotel, but it's a cheap hotel and you don't get a private room. So these are some of the words that we're gonna talk about. Now, I want you to read the first paragraph of the article and I want you to look at the photos. So, hmm, can you see the first paragraph here? Just this paragraph. Just read this paragraph, please, and then I'll ask you the question. So let me put it in a box for you. Here it is. Okay, so, so, so my question is, here's my question. The words that we were reading in, in, the, in the box here in exercise number two, where do you think we'll see these words? Do you think we'll see them with the first place, with, in this place? Or do you think we will see these words in the box? Do you think we'll see them in this place, the second place, second photo. The second place. You think the second place only? Or do you think maybe we, we can find these words in the box? Do you think maybe you can find them in both places? Or just the second place? Both. Both, maybe? What do you think, Manel? 
the words that we talked about here in the box, uh, botanic garden both. and rafting. Maybe both. Mm, okay, let's find out. Okay, let's find out. So first of all, I want you to read the, the story here, the article, the article about the first place. Uh, okay, I'm going to have to zoom out a little bit. Assalamu alaikum. Oh, alaikum salam. Hello, how are you today, Sophia? Fine. Okay, good. All right, so now I want you to read about the first place. It's called uh, Hostel Selitsa. I think it's pronounced Selitsa. So if, if, the, if the writing is too small, all you need to do is just zoom, zoom on your screen with your fingers like this, and you should be able to see, okay? So start from here. When, this is the first word in the article, and the last one is this word. Okay, so take your time, and when you're finished, just let me know so we can read the second place, the second article. Anyone finished yet? Not yet? Not yet. Uh, okay, okay. Take your time.
I finished the uh, doctor. All right, good. Anyone else finished? I finished too, doctor. Great. I finished. All right. I finished. Nice. Okay, let me show you the second hotel, the second place. So here is the second place. Okay. Okay. So let me zoom in a little bit so you can see. Okay. So here is the second place. Take your time. Read about this place. Second place, I'm just a sapper. You can't see it. Enter that the sora lula. This one, you can't see this one. Had yes. can, can you see it? Yes, can't on the sapper lula. Ah, Mukun telephone, Madash Tahti. Okay, yeah, this is the place. Okay, uh, finished? Yeah. All yes. right. Okay, great. So let's check the sections here where we, the section where we have the questions. Now, let's start with the first place, the, the hostel, Selitsa. So the first question is here in exercise number three, 
What is unusual about the hostel? This first place, what is the unusual thing about it? Because remember the lesson is the world's most unusual hotels. So what do you think is the unusual thing about it? Who can tell me? The design of uh, the hotel. The, the hostel. design of the hostel, okay. What's strange about the design, Samiha? What do you think? Looks like uh, a prison. It looks like a prison? Yes. Or, and, uh, or, okay. Mm -hmm. And the rooms like a uh, cell. And the rooms are like prison cells? Yes. But, but was it designed like a prison or was it actually a prison? It was actually a prison. Yeah. I think it's design. Okay, because but, he said uh, it is uh, different uh, artists designing the, the cell, I think. That's true. Actually, both of you are, are right. But, but here, if you check the first part, uh, Ala, Ala, can you tell us where, where it says that this place was a hostel? Uh, sorry, was a prison. Is there anywhere in the article that says this? Um, there it says it's stay in a prison. The, the screen isn't completed, but you know, can you go? Uh, you, mean, you mean in the bottom? A little bit. In the bottom or in the top? Uh, no, on, on the top. In the in top. The top. <laughs> this is the top. Was. Yes. Um, when I heard my next job was to stay in a prison. Mm, okay. Stay in a prison. Mm -hmm. But then she said... Well, and there's another... Isn't a prison, isn't a prison anymore. anymore. Correct. She said it isn't a prison anymore. And uh, what else did she say? She mentioned, she mentioned something else. It felt strange prison sleeping cell? in a prison cell. But I think also Samiha is right because they also talked about each cell was designed by a different artist, right? But was this when the place was a prison or, or when it changed and, be, and became a hostel? What do you think? Maybe after it changed to, when it changed to a hostel. I think that's the, exactly the idea because it says here, every cell, each one... Somebody. Wa alaikum sana. Hello, Sohail. Hi. Um, can you see the book, Sohail? How are you? I'm fine, thanks. I think if you have a problem with your connection because you've, yes. you've been trying to get in, but I think it's disconnecting. Um, okay, so this is the unusual thing about uh, Hostel Selitsa. The fact Actually, two things. First thing that it was a prison and each cell or each now hostel room was designed by a different artist. So maybe these are two, two unusual things about the place. Okay, our next question, it says, question number two. Um, what can you do near the hostel? Hmm. So what are some of the things you can do near, near this hostel? Who can mention some of the activities? Mm. Boat trip. You can go on boat trips. That's correct. Mm -hmm. What else? Only you can boat go trips? to the old castle. Swimming. Visit the Visit old the castle. Gardens. Visit the gardens. Listen. Swimming. Concert. Sorry, what else? Listen to a concert. Listen to a concert. That's true. Yeah. So there are lots of things you can do, okay. And what about uh, the rooms? How many rooms are in this place? Who can remember? Because they mentioned the number Thank of rooms. You. Right. So here in the bottom, it says 20 rooms. So the hostel Selitsa has 20 rooms. Yeah, you can go to a castle. These are some of the activities. So you can go go to a castle, listen to a concert. You can go on a boat trip. There are many things to do. Yeah, visit the gardens, go sightseeing. There, there are so many things you can do. Mm, you can even go rafting, right? We didn't talk about that. 
So you can go rafting down the river. Remember, we talked about rafting. When you go on a, on a little rubber boat and you go down a fast river, this is rafting. So how can we translate, by the way, rafting in Arabic? What is it, rafting? Any idea? Rafting, how can we translate to rafting? Who can explain uh, rafting? Uh -huh, um, a sport. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. What is it? Uh, it's a sport um, that, that uses the raft. That's why it's rafting. But what is a raft? Small uh, boat. It's a small boat, correct. Does it have an engine? No. no. No engine, right? And it's manual. Gro groups uh, try to. Yeah, it's manual. So you need you need. Do you know what we call them? The the, the things that we use on a boat or a raft. Do you know what we call them? Not in English. <laughs> in Arabic, what, is, what are they? Majadik. <laughs> yes. Actually, I'm not sure, if, but I think in English we have the word oars and there's another pedal. But I think pedal, pedal, I'm not sure. I think oars when they're made from wood. Uh, but pedals, uh, but let me take a look. I can confirm this. Okay, so what do you think of this uh, sport? Can you do it uh, in, in which place? Can you do it in, in the hostel or in the other place? The river. In the river. Yeah, actually they use both. They use both. They say oars and paddles. Mm. Ah, but I wrote it uh, incorrectly. So oars is written correctly but uh, paddles, I didn't write it correctly. So, so we, a raft doesn't have, it doesn't have uh, an engine, but it has a paddle or paddles and it has oars, oars and, and paddles. Mm, okay. And you're right, uh, I think Sophia, or Manel, I'm not sure, but uh, going down the river, you can go rafting down the river, mm, you can go swimming, you can go, mm, what else you can, you can you do? You can go for a swim, a sauna, oh, no. and massage. and a massage, it looks fun. There's so many things you can do. You can even go actually skiing, right? In the winter, can you see? It says in the winter, there's excellent skiing, not exactly near the hostel, but, you know, just an hour away, so not too far. Okay, so it's fun. But when's the best time in the year to visit this hostel? What September. Yeah, May to September, right? Yes, May to September. But, but, if, but if you like skiing, what about, do you think, should you go to, should in you go? Winter. In the winter, okay. So if you like skiing, then maybe winter. you should go. You should go in the winter. But if you like warm weather, May to September is is better, I think. All right. Now let's talk a little bit about the other place. So this this first place is called Host, Hostel Silitza. Now let's talk about the second place. It's called the Magic Mountain Hotel the Magic Mountain Hotel. Let's ask about this one. So what's unusual about this hotel? What's the unusual thing here from, from this hotel? Anything unusual? That it's in, in, in a mountain, built in a mountain. Mm. Is, Inside, it actually. Is, is it built in a mountain, in a real mountain or is it just designed like a mountain? Design. design like mountain. I think it's designed. Mm, okay, but, but where where does it say? It looks like a volcano. Right. This is what it says. It looks like a volcano. 
sitting under a sitting under a waterfall. Mm. So maybe mm. this is maybe this is the most unusual thing about the hotel, right? It's a bit yeah. looks very strange. Okay, second question. It's asking, what can you do near the hotel? So what are some of the activities that you can do near this hotel? What can you do? Swimming or sailing. You can go swimming. You can go sailing. Right. Learn about trees. No problem. Learn, about, learn about trees, correct? Plants and animals and birds. You can walk in the forest. True. Um, where's, where's the sailing? Go also? Fishing. Snowboarding, fishing also. Go fishing, so snowboarding. Go skiing. Right. Mm, what else? Ah, swimming and sailing. That's also something you can do there. Mm, there are so many things you can do. Okay. Seeking. Sorry. Uh huh. Selma. Uh, excellent uh, skiing. Excellent skiing. You mean? Yeah. Skiing, yes, you can go skiing, that's true. Okay, and it says here, how many rooms are there in this, in this hotel? How many rooms? 113. Uh, 113? No, uh, 13. 13, mm. yeah, mm. it's just 13 rooms. And what about the cost per night? Because they want you to talk about the cost per night. 180. One hundred and eighty dollars a night. Mm. But what about the the hostel? How much did, does it cost per night? I think thirty euros. Thirty euros. Thirty euros. Mm. Okay. Do you think Do you think this hotel is too expensive, or not too expensive? Yes. For Libyan, no, it's not expensive. For <laughs> you. Too expensive. And, in Libyan money, it's expensive. <laughs> yes. yes, but uh, but what about? I mean, but it was not expensive, but now expensive. It wasn't expensive, yeah, before, but now it's expensive. But compared compare the price to other five five star hotels, is it this is it the same or less or more? What do you think? What is the average for five star hotels in let's say in Europe? In the UK or France or Italy, how much are they per night, usually? Are they less or more than 100, usually dollars? What do you think? More. I, I think usually more, right? It starts from $200 maybe, I don't know. Yeah, maybe. I don't know if all of them, but I don't think I don't think you can have a five star hotel less than 100. I don't think so. I think most of them are more, more than 100. Mm, okay, okay. So uh, the hotel, the Magic Mountain Hotel is more expensive than the hostel. Okay, what about the time? When's the best time to to visit this hotel to stay there? What do you think? September, September to November, November and, and uh, from March, March to April. April. Mm, okay, but uh, is it the same? Should you go at the same time? I mean, if you if you want, is it? Do you go? Do you go during the same months? If you want skiing, or if no. you want sailing, or different the months? Best, uh, the best is now and usually and uh, August. Okay. For other uh, outdoor activities, uh, the best time are September to November and uh, March to April. Mm, okay. So if you want snow, you should go in July to August. But if you want other activities, maybe September to November and March to April. But how can we find snow in July and August? How? What do you think? Uh, where is that? Selma, how can we find snow in in July and August? Uh, maybe. Uh... 
Maybe uh, I don't understand the question. Ah, okay. So the question is: July and August are they summer or winter? Winter. Winter. Yeah. How? Because ah, uh, the best is snow. But but in Libya, uh, July and August are they winter or summer? No summer. But but how is it winter here? I did, didn't say it's winter. Uh, <laughs> maybe because uh, they uh, the best snow. Maybe artificial uh, snow. <laughs> maybe artificial snow. <laughs> okay. Or there is is there another like Dubai, reason? Because it's uh -huh. it's in high places in high places the cold the weather is cold, colder than us Cor correct in a high place uh, usually the weather is colder but but do you think the weather is colder more in the summer than the winter if it's high or do you think if it's high in the winter it's colder um I think it's cold in both. Okay. Kind of cold. All right. All right. Mm. What, what do you think, Samiha? I'm sorry, I'm not with you today. I didn't hear what are you talking about. Uh, okay, so the question is why, why, why is there snow in July and August? Because here it what? says the best oh, snow. Really, um... Uh huh. Sorry, who? South of Chile is uh, by. Uh... What about Chile? Uh... Uh, you mean it's close to the South Pole? Okay, you're getting close, man. Yes. <laughs> okay, it's a trick question, actually. Do, do you know where Chile is? Does anybody know where Chile is? The country Chile, do you yes. know where it is? Where is it? In which, which continent? South America. In South America. Okay, and of course, South America, it's... Uh, it means it's below below the equator, right? So South America, this means that the winter is the opposite of here in Libya. So when we have winter, they have summer. And when they have summer, we have winter, right? So, so actually July and August, this is winter in Chile. It's not summer. It's summer in Libya. It's summer in Europe and the United States. In the countries of the north, it's uh, summer, but in the countries of the south, it's winter. Okay, do you get the idea? It's opposite. So Chile is in the south, yeah. south, the southern hemisphere. Anyway, so best snow in July and August, and other activities you can you can come here during. Uh, the rest of the year. Okay, let's check our next exercise. So our next exercise here, we're going to listen to a few people talk about, uh, we're going to, ah, sorry, read and listen to the text, text your, check your partner's answers. Okay, so here we're going to listen to these texts. So this way you can also check the pronunciation of any words. Check your partner's answers, read and listen to the texts. <laughs> All right, so we just want to listen to, uh, to this article. So let me just find the audio track so you can listen. So 
So this is city view. Is it city one or two? This is city two, track 38. Okay. Thirty eight. Hostel Selitza. When I heard my next job was to stay in a prison, I was a bit worried. But in fact, Hostel Selitza in Ljubljana, Slovenia, isn't a prison anymore. Now it's a very popular place to stay. It has a good restaurant and a friendly bar, and it often has art exhibitions. All the rooms are basic but comfortable, and each one was designed by a different artist. It felt strange sleeping in a prison cell, but I could understand why everyone loves this unusual place, and I can personally recommend cell 107. There are lots of things to do in and around the wonderful city of Ljubljana. You can go to the old castle and listen to a concert. You can go on a boat trip on the river and visit the botanic gardens. Or why not just go sightseeing? This city is full of beautiful buildings and bridges. And those looking for adventure can go on a day trip to Bled, a small town in the mountains, and go rafting down the Sava River. Or, if you want to stay in Ljubljana, then go to the Atlantis Water Park and go swimming in one of its 16 pools. I went there for a swim, a sauna and a massage. That seemed the best thing to do after a night in prison. Hostel Zelitsa has 20 rooms and they cost around 30 euros a night. May to September are the warmest months. But in winter, there's excellent skiing just one hour from Ljubljana. The Magic Mountain Hotel Magic Mountain is an incredible hotel in the Wilo Wilo Nature Reserve in Chile. It's a long way from anywhere and the journey there isn't easy, but after you arrive, you can go for a sauna and just relax. The hotel itself is certainly one of the most beautiful and unusual places I've ever seen, it looks like a volcano sitting under a waterfall. There are lots of things to do in Wilo Wilo, and I was never bored in the three days I was there. On the first day, I went for a walk in the forest. I went with an excellent guide, so I learned all about the trees, plants, animals and birds in the reserve. Then I went on a trip to Lake Pirueco, where you can go fishing, swimming and sailing. But if you want a more exciting adventure, Go to the Chozuenko Volcano for excellent skiing and snowboarding. Then you can relax in the hot springs nearby. And definitely don't leave without visiting the magnificent Wilo Wilo Waterfall. The Magic Mountain Hotel has 13 rooms and a double room costs about $180 a night. If you want to go skiing, the best snow is in July and August. For other outdoor activities, the best times are September to November and March to April. Okay. So, um, okay, so this is a classroom activity because in here they wanted us to do it in groups, but we did it together. So what's the best thing? Okay, let, let me ask you these questions. In the two places here that we talked about, the, the, the Hostel Siritsa, and uh, the Magic Mountain Hotel, which do you think is the most interesting thing for you? So let's see some opinions. Mm, Russian, what, what is the most interesting thing for you about uh, the hostel? What do you think is the most interesting thing? Maybe you stay in a prison cell. Do you want to stay in prison? Would you like to stay in prison? Yes, I want to try it. <laughs> no, I mean a real, a real prison, not not a not a hostel. <laughs> Do you think it's fun? <laughs> I think probably not. But maybe this one, maybe this one. I think you're right. This one looks like it's fun. And okay, okay. Um, what about uh, the second place? Uh, let's see another opinion. Samia, what do you think? 
the most interesting place, the most interesting thing in, in Alsta Silica, or even the other one, Magic Mountain Hotel. What's the inter most interesting thing in, in both of them, in your opinion? For me, I think no one. <laughs> both are not interesting? I don't like closed places. I, and I, uh, I have a phobia of uh, height. So both of them, it's not... Uh, not interesting, but, uh, but but do you think this is too? Yes. Do you but think the this is... place, place itself, I think it's very nice in uh, Magic Mountain more. Mm. The well, area. Yeah. Mm, okay. So both of them, they're not your, they're not your style. You wouldn't like. But what about the prison? It would be nice to stay here, right? To stay in. No. No. <laughs> you don't <laughs> want to stay in a prison. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> okay. All right, now let, let's see about the activities here. Mm. Okay, Sophia, what, what about the activities? Which, which activities did you like from, from the hostel or, or from the Magic Mountain? Were there any activities that you maybe you liked? Any activities that you thought are interesting, Sophia? Uh, maybe swimming. Just swimming? Yes, or sitting. Mm, sightseeing? What about what about rafting? Would you like to go rafting down a river? Would you like to try that? Yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. But which, which place I can't try. You would like to try it. What about if if you if you had to choose? For example, between the activities you can do near Hostel Silica and the activities you can do you can do near Magic Mountain, which one would you choose? Which activities would you choose? Um, maybe uh, skiing. So, but you can go skiing in both places near the Magic Mountain Hotel, and you can also go skiing near the hostel. So... Yes. Hmm. So this means both both places are, are interesting rafting. for you. Rafting, you can also go... I don't know if you can go rafting here, but you can go sailing near the Magic Mountain Hotel. Mm -hmm. You can go sailing in a lake. So some yeah, of the or activities... Fishing. Or fishing. Do you think that's fun? Would you like to go fishing? Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. So now final question, it says, which place is better for holiday? Mm, let's see someone else. Ala, what, what, what do you think, in your opinion, which one is better to spend the holiday in? The hostel, Hostel Salita or the Magic Mountain Hotel? What do you think? Um, of course, I wouldn't choose the a jail to stay in my holiday. So. Okay. <laughs> yes. So I choose the other one, the Magic Mountain Hotel. But why? Why wouldn't you choose the first place? Or what? What she don't you? Place. What? What don't you like about uh, the hostel? Um, it's very small okay. places. Um, the the meaning of the place, you know, it's uh, it's like. Uh, we, they want you to go and go in, and uh, you know you're not allowed to come out again. So I, I'd feel that feeling there. But you can go out now. They won't keep you in. But oh. it's it's, the, it's still a prison, so it has that meaning. Mm -hmm. But don't you think it's interesting to try to to see how it feels like to be in a prison? For me, no. Maybe for other people, it would be great. Okay. Okay, so these are the things you don't like about the first place. Now, what are the things you, you do like about uh, the second place, about Magic Mountain Hotel? Why do you think this is a better choice for a holiday? Uh, I like the nature um, and um, the activities are interesting too. Mm -hmm. I'd like to uh, walk in the forest. That would be interesting. Um, snowboarding would be interesting too. 
all of the activities are very. Hmm. But but you can do you can do the same activities near the hostel, right? You can also take walks and go swimming, go rafting, and it'll be a, it'll be a nice contrast, you know, staying in a prison, and then freedom, in nature, and then back to prison every night. Fun. Mm. I think that's fun. No, you don't think it's fun. I think they're do they're doing this to the inmates every day, maybe. <laughs> So it's the same. I don't think I don't think they let the inmates go and go rafting. I doubt that. I think most of them, I think you know, not every day, but they would do that. Maybe you, once a month or. You think? I, I don't. <laughs> they <laughs> wish. <laughs> they wish, but <laughs> it's impossible. I think because usually inmates, because they're punished, they are they're criminals. So I don't think they they leave their cells a lot. Maybe unless they've got some work in the jail you know, the complex itself, the compound, you know, they make them clean the floors or clean the laundry, you know, things like this, clean the bathrooms, you know, just this, that's probably the only, these are the only times when they let them out or when they have breakfast in the morning. But otherwise, I don't think they, they let them out. Okay. Yes, I don't think so. I don't want, I don't uh, know why I said that. <laughs> okay. Now, let's see someone else's opinion. Is there anyone here in the group who thinks who would like to go to the hostel and not uh, not the hotel? Anyone would like to go? Mm, let's see. Manan, what about you? Which, which place would you choose? The hostel or the hotel? Which one would you choose? Milan, can you hear us? Mm, I think you have a problem with your connection, Milan. Anyway, so this is, uh, you know, a little comparison between the two places. Now, the hotel, you would go to the hotel. Okay, okay. All right, l let's talk a little bit about uh, listening here. We've got something which is called the weak forms. So, can you hear me now? Yes, I hear you. Ah, okay. So the question was, which one would you like to visit and why? You said the hotel, you you prefer the hotel, but wh why do you prefer the hotel? Why do you think the Magic Mountain Hotel is more interesting than the hostel for you? This was this was the question. No, no. Okay, I think your connection is not good. Anyways, let's move on. Now, here in this listening exercise, we want to talk a little bit about the weak forms. Now, let me remind you what the weak forms are. So, remember when we discussed uh, the uh, sentence stress, we mentioned that in some words, they are usually in the weak form. This means you will hear the schwa sound. So, um, many words, like of, from, are, and, can, for, to, was. These words are usually unstressed. So, and when they are unstressed, you will hear the weak form. It's called the weak form. So for example, instead of hearing of, you will hear the sound of, of instead of from, from, instead of are, for, instead of and, um, so there's a bit of a difference. Instead of can, you will hear can. Instead of for, you will hear for. To, ta, and was, was. So all of them sound a little different, but you can't really notice them unless you're listening very, very carefully. But this is a normal part of the English language. They do it a lot. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play uh, the, a track 
And this way you can compare, you can hear the strong version and you can hear the weak version. And you can notice there is a bit of a difference. The one that comes to mind or the one that we're used to is usually the strong form. This is the one we're used to. And this is usually how, how teachers in classrooms talk. They say, and, from, can, but in real everyday language, that's not how natives usually speak. So, so this is important to keep in mind. Okay, so let me play it for you so you can hear the difference. Of, of, from, from. Ah, uh, and, un, can, can, for, for, to, to, was, was. Okay. Now, I'm going to play the track one more time. Uh, the first one, the one about Hostel Selitza. This time, I want you to focus only on the pink words. Okay, just the pink words. Focus only on the pink words. And notice how none of them are in the strong form. So you, you will not hear, you won't hear was, and, can, uh, to, of, from, you're, you won't hear this. You will only hear the short form, okay? So let me just repeat it for you. So focus, I want you to focus on the pink, the pink words. So let's do this. When I heard my next job was to stay in a prison, I was a bit worried. But in fact, Hostel Tselitsa in Ljubljana, Slovenia, isn't a prison anymore. Now it's a very popular place to stay. It has a good restaurant and a friendly bar, and it often has art exhibitions. All the rooms are basic but comfortable, and each one was designed by a different artist. It felt strange sleeping in a prison cell, but I could understand why everyone loves this unusual place, and I can personally recommend cell 107. There are lots in and around the wonderful city of Ljubljana. You can go to the old castle and listen to a concert. You can go on a boat trip on the river and visit the botanic gardens. Or why not just go sightseeing? This city is full of beautiful buildings and bridges. And those looking for adventure can go on a day trip to Bled, a small town in the mountains, and go rafting down the Sava River. Or, if you want to stay in Ljubljana, then go to the Atlantis Water Park and go swimming in one of its 16 pools. I went there for a swim, a sauna and a massage. That seemed the best thing to do after a night in prison. Hostel Tselitsa has 20 rooms and they cost around 30 euros a night. May to September are the warmest months but in winter, there's excellent skiing just one hour from Ljubljana. Okay, so did you notice the difference? Did you see how none of, none of these words were in the strong form? All of them were in the weak form. Okay, who can tell me why is this? Is this important or not important? Or what's the point of this, of this difference? What do you think the point is? If you can give me their opinion, what do you think? What do you think, Selma? Is it important to know the difference between the strong and the weak form? And why? Why is it important or not important? I think important because maybe uh, when you listen, maybe uh, maybe a uh, and. Uh, film mm -hmm. or a movie um and maybe a american movie or an uh, right i think uh yeah uh, mm -hmm. maybe 
you listen to uh, this word, uh, maybe you can't understand this. Yes, you're actually right. That's exactly the point of, of getting used to them. We don't have to do them, but we need to know that this is how mm, many British speakers or, or American or any native speakers, they speak sometimes. So, uh, so this way, if we hear them, kun or uf or fur or, or for example, was, we know that they mean was, they mean can, they mean. So exactly right. This is the, the point, Senma, yes. So we need to get used to them. That's the, that's the point. All right, let's move on. Now, let's talk a bit about vocab. So yeah, here we have a bit of vocabulary and we want to discuss phrases with go. So we want to focus on the verb go. So I'm sure you've noticed that we talked a little bit about go in the past, but now we want to focus a little more on go. So let's read the question. The question says, look at the words or phrases in blue in the text about the Magic Mountain Hotel. Then complete the rules with for, with, to, on, or no preposition. So this means we actually have five options to answer. We have for, we have with, to, on and no preposition. Mm, okay, so I think it's better if we check the article first and then we can come back to the question. So here I want you to take a look at all the, the, the phrases using go. Can you see them? We have five of them here. Who can, who can read some of these phrases for us? Which one? The, the, the blue ones, the one, the phrases that have uh, go with them. Can you see the blue uh, phrases, I Selma? Went, mm -hmm. I went for a walk in uh, the forest. Okay, so this is the first one. Let's align it. I went for a walk. Okay, can you read the next one? Uh, I went uh, with the, an excellent uh, guide. Guide. Correct. Okay, this is the second one. What about the next one? I went on a tour uh, on a trip uh, mm -hmm. to the to Lake Bush. Okay, next one. Uh, where uh, where you can go uh, fishing. Mm -hmm. Go fishing. And the last one. Uh, go to the. Chosvenko. Chosvenko okay. volcano. Okay. So this is just the name. It's the name of the volcano. So these are the five different ways that we used go in, in the story, in the article about uh, the Magic Mountain Hotel. So now let's go back to the question. So let me show you the five options we have again. So what we want to do is we want to complete this, uh, these rules. We have five rules. You can see five rules. And we want to complete these rules using for, with, to, on, or nothing. These are the options we have, okay? So let's use them. So we use go with what to talk about an activity? An activity with ing, what do we use? What do you think, uh, Rashid? 
when we talk about activity. Go to. Mm, okay. Can you think of an activity with the uh, with the uh, verb plus ing? For example, uh, sailing, skiing, swimming. Um. What do we use? Do we say go? Do we say go to skiing, go to swimming, or what? What do you think? Okay, let, let me take you back. Let's look at the activities in, in the article. So which, which, which one has an activity here? Which go is used with an activity in, in the article? Uh, where you can go fishing. Uh -huh. Go fishing, go swimming, go sailing. So this means, what did we use? when we talked about activities. Did we use anything with go or did we just use go directly without without anything, without any preposition? What do you think, Sen? Um, go with anything, go. Go with the, with about anything. Ah, you mean go without, without anything, just go. Yeah. Correct, that's the point, yes. So if you want to talk about an activity like swimming, sailing, dancing, or anything, we shouldn't use anything. We should just say go a little directly, right? So go swimming, go sailing, go skiing, go hunting, go camping. Don't use anything if you want to talk about an activity. Mm, okay, now... What about Sami? Um, what do you think? What if we, what if we want to talk about a place? What do we use? Go to. Go to. That's correct. That's actually correct. So let's write it. Go to. Okay, what about uh, if we talk about a person, what do we use if we talk about a person? What do you think? Go with. Go with. And if you remember the example in the article, it says, I went with an excellent guide, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, so we used, let's just, we used two and we used with. So and we have four and one. So if we want to talk about an activity or a noun, what do we use? What do you think, then? Can you, can you repeat the question? Okay, the question is if we have if we have um, a noun, for example, like can, name of place? not not a place with the place we use uh, we use uh, two, but for example, if it's a noun like a like, uh, not an activity. Here, let me show you. Uh, let me take you to the article. Okay, can you see the article? Ahne uh, Talbin, an activity. This activity is the verb ing. الاكتيفيتي حتكون باستعمال اونلي ان ام اللي هي في المقطع لايك جو فيشنج لايك جو فيشنج هذه اللي بالاي ان جي 
احنا نبغى اكتيفيتي ثانيه من غير من غير آه من غير اي ان جي انذر اكتيفيتي صفيه كان يو هير مي؟ لو هلو 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 هل عندكم مشكلة في النت أو yeah. Yeah. Yes. هو مرات لما ما يخل... مي... ما عاش يرجع لك لما النت يضعف مرات ما عاش يخليك تخشي ما عاش تقدر ترجع لكن هو نفس اللينك اللي بعت لك نفس اللي خشيت فيه الأول يعني أوكي so what do you think سميحة تمام أوكي Go on. Go on. Okay, let me show you the ones we use. We use go with. We use go with the ing activity. We use go to the places. How do we use We only have these two left. So, which one is an activity in your opinion? And let's go back. Let's check the question one more time. Can you see the question? So the two options we have, it says go plus activity, and the activity is a noun. And the last option is go plus something for travel words, a trip, a holiday, a vacation. Okay. You... With travel, we use uh, go on. Right, so we go on a holiday, we go on vacation, we go on a trip. So this means we only have one answer left. Well, four. Yes, so, so if it's an activity without, without ING, we say four. Go for a swim, go for a walk, uh, for a walk go, for a, go for a run. Go for a hike, things like this. We use go for a drive. Hmm, it's a bit strange. Go for a drive, like a, yeah, difficult. Okay, so this is the idea. You can use go in different ways. So this means every time you want to talk about something different using go, you have to change your preposition. So if you want to talk about an activity with ing. You shouldn't use any prepositions. Go shopping, go camping, go skiing, go skating, go snowboarding. You shouldn't use anything. But if it's a place, go to the gym, go to the mall, go to the beach, go to the restaurant. We need to use to. Of course, with a person we say with. Go with your husband, go with your wife, go with your friend, go with your children, go with. And if it's, if it's an activity with a noun, go for a walk, go for a swim. And the last one is go on. Go on vacation, go on holiday, go on, go on a date, go on, you know, things like this. All right, so this is how we can talk about go. All right, let me just show you very quickly uh, the summary. I'm sure for very few tips for the Haja. Then finally, let's take a look. If there's something we need to talk about, mm, let's see. I don't think so, but there. But we're gonna just check it. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, and the الإجابات كنا نتكلم عليها. You can go fishing. Go to the Chisinau volcano. I went with a guide. I went for a walk. I went on a trip, okay. Fish Hajj Dida. Let's take a look at the tip. Okay. Okay, so let's just talk about this tip. So here the idea is it's actually optional. Okay. So uh, you can say go for a uh, to talk about an activity. Just, just say go. Activity على طول. So you can say go for a swim, go for a walk. هي نفسها go swimming, go walking. Go jogging, go shopping. لأن في منهم ما يمشيش حالا بي go for a مثلا زي shopping. You cannot say go for a shop. مش منطقية ما تمشيش. 
فممكن الجو بلس اكتيفيتي بالاي ان جي ممكن اضمن لكم ان ايش جو سكيينج جو سكيتينج جو سنو بوردينج جو سويمينج مش كلهم حتقدر تستعمل جو فور جو فور اسكي ما تمشيش جو فور اسكيت ما تمشيش محدودات يعني جو فور فممكن جو بالاي ان جي احسن بس المعنى نفسه so nothing new here هذه النقطة الوحيدة اللي ضافوها so we can go back and we can do our next exercise so here in exercise number seven let's keep it up ah eight sorry here it says read about the hostel and the hotel again and find all the other phrases with go or went by then it says do we use these phrases with go 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 all right, let's do the first part. This is the easy part of the question. We just want to find them, find all the expressions with uh, using uh, go, and we just want to underline them, okay? So if you find an expression or a phrase with go, just let me know, and I will underline it for you. So let's start here. Okay, I found one. You can tell me where it is. Our first go. Go to uh, the old castle. Right. So go to the old castle. So here we used go for a place.